Hello and welcome to my Warhammer 40,000 open day loot video. It's primarily going to be about all the items that I bought uh, at the event. To start off with, uh, I'll say that I didn't get the uh, Red Scorpions models. Um, I don't collect Red Scorpions. They've got a lot of Red Scorpion iconography and things. I don't think it would be right for me to buy them and then um, spray them black. I might do in the future if I change my mind, but I didn't get them and I actually didn't get any of the uh, event models uh, except for the Astraeus. Um, yes, that is a second Astraeus, but there will be an announcement regarding why I got a second one, which will get you all very excited, I'm sure, in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned to the channel for that. And a quick tip is, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss this. If you've got friends, get them to subscribe. That's all I'm gonna say. So without further ado, let's have a look at all the loot that I bought. So to start off with, we have a Space Marine Australia Super Heavy Tank. Reasons for that, like I said, will be announced soon. Got the rules and things, they handedly printed them off, which is fantastic. And they are listening, I think they're listening. I really recommend they do this. For every new model that they have up for release on an open day or an event, that they print off these rules. So when you're spending, when you're dropping 600, 700, 1,000 pound on a model, you get your sheet of paper with the rules. They are a model company first and a games company second, but for a lot of people, the rules do sell the models, um, however good the, the model looks. Um, and I can't recommend that they do this more often. I think it was easier for them to do this because the Australians actually went on pre-order last week um, on Friday. Um, but things like the Telemon Dreadnought and the Omega Tanks, you really need to have the rules um, ready, guys, for uh, when you're physically handing the model. Um, I think it's, I can't say enough good things about that. They should do that more often. Um, so obviously one of those. Uh, the Forge World, hey, 2018 cat, uh, catalogue. I will be going through this in depth in a separate video, comparing it to last year's and maybe even one from a few years ago, um, going through all the prices and what's gone up, what's gone down, all the rest of it. So um, I will say that the Mastodon has gone up. It's now 310 pounds rather than the solid 300. And I will say that the Leviathan, I think it's gone up by a pound, 73. But we'll go in, into depth uh, into that. Uh, catalog in another video so stay tuned to the channel for that got a little necromunda badge i'm sure there are other badges on tables and things but uh i just um wasn't paying attention i don't think <laughs> and badges aren't really my kind of kind of thing we're going to keep with forge well for the moment um and show you so the uh other products i got from forge world keep with the good stuff and then we'll go on to the games workshop items so got uh, imperial armor index xenos Next year for me is all about Xenos. I'm gonna try and refrain from getting a load of Imperial stuff. I mean, obviously next year you've got Tau, uh, Dark Eldar, Orcs. I know demons are chaos, but still. Uh, next year will all be about Xenos. So I'm gonna try and get my hands on a few of the, the Xenos models. And uh, one of the reasons I got this book beca is because of another model that you're about to see in a bag. So got that because then I can go through the rules. And uh, if I do have any other Xenos models, um, then I can go through the rules with the new 8th edition. So got one of those, got the Index Forces of the Astra Militarum, mainly for the Titans. I will be doing more videos of my Titans because they are all complete and uh, I will be going through all the 8th edition rules uh, for those and their weapon options. And that's quite a thick book actually. Uh, and then Forces of the Adeptus Astartes. Um, personally, I th I'm against these indexes anyway, because for 40K, I'd rather buy the, the hardback um, codexes um, because I like the lore and I like the photos and things like that. Um, but the Index Forces of Adeptus Astartes, that will have all of the, the big tanks, like the Fellblade and the, even the Sokar Python Stormbird, things like that. So I'll be going through doing a rules review of all those models. Um, so that's the reason why I got that. So those were the books. Then I got some Death Guard doors. Now, this is, these Death Guard doors are, um, you know, sort of pre-heresy. Uh, I might change them slightly, uh, but I just prefer these to the, uh, you know, the 40K doors. Um, and they've got the skull and the size, and I think they're gonna work really well, and it gives me an excuse to get me, uh, to get a rhino. I'd like two rhinos in the army, um, but no doubt you'll be seeing me do a, 
uh, video on this and showing you them uh, on a Chaos Rhino. If I'm able to get my hands on one, they're quite rare. Well, not as rare as the Land Raiders. And then finally, from Forge World, I trek myself to a Tyranid Dimacheron. That's the way I'm pronouncing it. I'm stepping up and I'm pronouncing it because it seems like a couple of other YouTubers uh, simply just call him Dave. So there you go, have at it with my pronunciation. Um, so I will be doing an unboxing, unboxing, unbagging of, uh, of this ridiculously good looking Tyranid model. Uh, it's my first Tyranid Forge World model. Hopefully it won't be my last. Really looking forward to, to building up the Tyranid uh, next year with uh, when Channel Super Saiyan goes uh, a Xenos um, for 2018. So hopefully you'll, you'll join me for the unbagging for this model. Okay, let's move on to the Games Workshop uh, product. So I got a small dry brush. Um, there wasn't a medium one, so just gone for a small one. Uh, some pallid witch flesh, which they're just sort of things that I need for the hobby. Keeping on with the Tyranid theme, uh, I purchased some Tyranid Venom Thropes. They are expensive, £40 is a lot uh, for three models. In my opinion, they should be 30 um, or 35 at, at the most, but uh, these Venom Thropes are also Zone Thropes, which I think look a lot better, and I'm definitely gonna have them as those. Uh, so, got a set of those. Speaking of Venom Thropes, I then got a Toxicrine, really like this model. I think it's just awesome with all these tentacle things coming out of it. It's even, it even comes with a Terminator, um, well, a dead one. Uh, however, you can also build it into another incredible looking miniature, which is the Maliceptor, or if you're American, Maliceptor, um, and there's the Toxicrine too, so. Um, great looking models. I'd love to get both of them actually because um, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, and then I got my hands on a Tyranid Tyrannocyte, um, basically a drop pod for Tyranids. This model has grown on me. I, like, I do like the tentacles that are sort of propping it up. It looks like it's sort of slowly hovering across the battlefield and you can also turn it into a spore assist with a mucolid spore and spore mines. So that's the mucolid and look how many, you get six of those. And obviously I think you get three with the um, hive crone. So I'm building up a, a nice army of uh, um, spore mines. And then look at that, lovely, lovely exit point. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I also got my hands on a Tyranid uh, Lictor. Um, it's, yeah, someone's, <laughs> someone's just written that on it. <laughs> but uh, the Lictor is in here. I'll do an unboxing and uh, review obviously of the Lictor. It's quite an old model now. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why it's in this this uh, this box. But I think it's a good looking model still. And uh, I'll show you that in a video. Uh, and then we move into a different direction entirely. Uh, we've got Eldar. Uh, I got a little spirit seer because I think he's going to look really cool um, with the start collecting set that I got and he's going to be able to help out those uh, Wraith Guard and Wraith Lords. And of course I then got a Codex Adeptus Mechanicus. I wanted to get the uh, Grey Knights one. Uh, I will get the Grey Knights one at some point but I uh, got the Mechanicus one because it means that now I can go back to the Mechanicus models again and uh, give you sort of uh, newer reviews of those and I wanted a book that had uh, both of the Mechanicus um, units in there uh, and it's also got night rules as well for 40k. So there you go. Um, that is uh, the entirety of all the loot that I uh, purchased there. Um, there's nothing else. I was tempted, like I say, I was tempted getting a Diredio, um Dreadnought, but they didn't have the parts. Uh, I would have got a Carnifex Brood and um, some Hive Guard and an Exocrine. I was really looking forward to getting an Exocrine. I thought they'd at least have one of those there, but I guess not. So if you were there and I didn't see you or you didn't see me, uh, please do put it in the comments uh, what you bought, what you purchased at the event. It'd be great to hear what you picked up. Um, I know quite a few people were after the Astraeus tank. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.